subscribe. It takes a couple seconds. Hit the notification bell and hit the like button as well. Okay, guys. Hello, hello. Just like we just talked, huh? <laughs> Almost is it? <laughs> mm. Alright, we'll see if any new students shows up today. Oh no, my call. There were two new students. Oh, let me think. Let me change my earphones because I can't hear anything. Uh, preferences, speaker, AirPods. Okay, I think I can hear now. Perfect. Can you hear? Yes, I can hear now. Yeah, so on my call, there are two new students. One was named Elko or something, and the other was named B. I don't know. I forgot the names, but they were like brand new. They nice. Join. Are there questions? Was it difficult? Or like, um, yeah, how did you find your first session in that? Uh, it was interesting. It was just, uh, I, I wasn't aware, like, what state that is that they were at, like, uh, part of the end. So I just asked him that. And then uh, the first one, he was in for a few minutes, just give him, like, how to, like, he has some, some issues, like, oh, I'm not understanding it, right? So I just showed yeah. him how to, like, go from beginning to end and just follow, to go with the flow and watch all the videos. That was the first one. He left, like, being halfway. And then after that, the other student came in. Uh, he asked about, I think, I think it's a similar thing as well. Just go with the flow. I told him about that as well. And I saw a mindset. And he was really, like, motivated on it. Like, he'll be on all the calls. I think his my motivation for, like, that day was super. Over time, like, told him, like, it fluctuates. So just have, like, a consistent phase of it. Because on that day, like, he was highly motivated. He was like, oh, I'm going to join all the calls. I'm be I'm be at all the events. And I was, I was like, I, that sounds similar to how I was at first. Just slowly, okay. like, you can only keep it up that for so long so that's what i was like have it consistent even like you put one hour uh, work a day just to have it consistency exactly like one thing that i've learned is like if i can have cold shower wake up exercise maybe do my end routine meditate like i've already won that day everything else i do on top is just a bonus yeah um, that one up at 8 a.m because that's drop of my brother in the morning so it's like it's like my wake up call. So like I yes. wake up whenever like he has to go. I'm like let's go, and I, cause I only like let's like right on the corner. But I, I like driving there because it kind of like wakes you up. You gotta be like aware and stuff. So it's kind of like my wake up call. So that yeah. that's why like, eight a.m. is like eight a.m. eight thirty around there is like the wake up time that I'm trying to get used to because I'm used to like sleeping at like three four in the morning, waking up and whenever I get the work done and then go back yeah. to sleep. Yeah, yeah, so random schedule. You know? Makes sense, makes sense. You know what I want to do? I want to create like some like limited, just because it's like I'm into clothing or stuff, I want to create some limited study.com merch like and have it like <laughs> 10 pieces and each one's like 1 out of 10, 2 out of 10, 3 out of 10, 4 out of 10. Um, but I want like some cool stuff, like something that I can literally wear every single day, something that's, I want a hoodie, but at the same time hoodies, actually, yeah, I want a hoodie, but I, I don't want it to be too, kiddish or too high beastie but at the same time i don't want it like just plain black or should maybe wrap, should wrap your j wagon in a studying.com livery you know what i was thinking i was thinking about getting um study plate like but without the u like since there's it's only six letters mm. s t maybe y i n g does that work yeah. let's see what that looks like s t d oh no that, that's not good i don't want i don't want s t d okay S, uh, how do I get six letters out of this? Which letter can I take away? Because I have eight letters. Oh, I have to take away two letters, damn. S-T-D-I-N-G. <laughs> oh, that, that looks okay-ish. That would be a cool play. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just organized for people, so if I was thinking, you know. It's a bit hard to hear you in the by the way. Oh, let me switch my audio real quick. Oh, it's pretty cool. How, how is your um the, the new time, Ryan? Your new time? Any um, difference? The first time, not much of a difference, but uh, I think it was better than usual because my Tuesday was like completely dead. Wow. So at least some people were able to join. Um, so yeah, I, I'm going to stick with it for now. 
Nice, nice. And it's cool how like I'm looking at your post right now and he replied to a bunch of posts. And but Nathan like comments and, and he was like, Yeah, no worries. Oh man, Nathan's photo, he's ripped. Damn. Whoa. Mm. Yeah, I mean, let me quickly let's see. Naraj, hey everyone, quick question. If I made a purchase using PayPal, but the purchase not eligible for PayPal buy protection, can PayPal still refund my money if I dispute? Why no PayPal can only refund China if? Oh. Yes, if you purchase picking family or friends or go with an option that isn't eligible for protection, it will be nearly impossible. To dispute, but still give PayPal a call as there is still a small chance you can win evidence. So, Ryan, what do you think I should do about Kevin? Should I just like just let him be? I mean, have you considered confronting the guy? I, I did, and he was like, yo, give me a refund. No, you know what he said? Give me my money back and give me an apology. Well, I mean, but like, why? What did you do to him? Nothing. Literally nothing. The catalyst was like, I think Santiago like reached out to him and was like, hey, like this and that. And then all of a sudden he messaged me. I was like, hey, I want a refund. But didn't he find success with your program? Yeah. Like he was happy, like he was making money, but he had two mentors. So he attributed all the success to the other mentor. Leave him. I don't like, Yeah. I don't know. He, he might continue to do what he's doing, but I don't know. Hopefully he sees that you know, point in it. I don't, like took a bigger picture. I realized that in a year's time, like it's all this, everything would just disappear. It would just be like faded away. Like any comments, yeah. any reviews. And like in the use time, I'm just, there's going to be like new haters, but at the same time, they're going to be new fans. And I just need to keep at it. Also, do you know a person named, what's the guru's name? Uh, he has, let's go to Hyros. Ah, uh, I, I know who you're talking about. His glasses is white. He joins a bunch of people. It's called Dan Henry. Yep. So Dan Henry is recently pivoting from selling how to make online courses to motivational courses, like a motivation and mindset. Because how to make money, you're going to just attract all these people, like a really low quality audience, as well as like people who think money is easy to be made and like a lot of like sinners, like cynical people. But if you're selling a mindset course, Mm -hmm. to be blunt it's like more subjective like you can sell it and like people like can be like yeah i felt more positive after this um it's more subjective it's not like you know i'm not making a hundred dollars a day so all the pros like tony robbins sells a mindset program yeah like once you get yeah but the bad thing is it's really hard to start there so a lot of people start with like how to make money and they slowly transition to mindset, personal branding, how to better your life type of programs. Yeah. So that's sort of what I'm slowly going to pivot into over the next five, 10 years. But hopefully like now that you know that sort of like the trajectory, maybe that gives you like a clearer picture because, you know, as you know, the, the niche is just going to get more and more harder. As you can see the comments, like you're not even selling anything and the comments are already like crazy. Um, so yeah. that, that's like a cool early heads up. So like whatever, like, you know, I, I'm like, you know, a few steps or one or two steps ahead when it comes to this space. And, you know, those are my next two steps. So hopefully that gives you four steps ahead. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually really helpful. And that's a good idea because I was going to bring that up. All the, all the big dogs in the industry, Tony Robbins, Gary Vee, Jason Capital, they all, all their content is very uh, yeah. mindset based. 
uh, and they do have programs where they teach strategies and whatnot, but a lot of their content uh, or even their live speeches and all that, it's all mindset based. Um, and I think that's good, but I think you'll also get those people who, um, I don't know, they, they buy in for a quick high of motivation yes. uh, and then just sort of die off and not do anything. And yes. which is fine because you still get the payment, but that might lead to situations like Kevin where um, a year down the line, they're like, oh, I'm in the same spot that I was in a year ago and I paid for this motivational webinar. Why hasn't it changed anything for me? When really it's their fault, but they don't want to admit that. So they attribute it to you. Um, so it might lead to more stuff like that. But overall, man, I still think it's a pretty good idea because like, these these big players are doing it for a reason. Um, but yeah. What's the appropriate shipping time? Because I know there's some pro- uh, shippers out there that have-